welcome to the Conga Chasa YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for our channel. And head over to congachops.com to grab your free 7-day trial for access to over 200 exclusive step-by-step -step lessons. Marcos Lopez here from congachops.com. And I just want to give you a brief rundown of your new LP maracas. So let's talk a little about the history of the maracas, getting comfortable with your new gear, and get you started playing your first groove. Rattles similar to maracas have existed for millennia in Africa, the Pacific Islands, and the Americas. However, the Arakanian people who live in what is now central Chile may have been the first to use the word maraca to describe a gold rattle around 500 BC. Although some historians attribute the origin of the word to Tupi people in pre-colonial Brazil. There are also ancient records of maracas in West Africa, where a Guinean legend describes a goddess who made a maraca out of a gourd and white pebbles. Traditionally made of dried calabash gourds or turtle shells filled with beans, beets, or pebbles, nowadays maracas are commonly made of wood, plastic, or rawhide filled with a variety of different organic and synthetic materials. As far as holding the maracas are concerned, I like to keep a looser grip around the handle so I can use as much of the weight of the maraca as possible when playing. We also want to make sure we're holding them at a comfortable height and staying loose in our shoulders to help us stay relaxed. The maracas can be used in a number of ways to create different sounds. We can switch them around for a sound effect, we can play them individually or as a pair like shakers, which you'll see often in pop or rock settings. Or, we can play them in a more traditional way like they're using the Caribbean, by holding one in each hand and playing a variety of different eight note grooves with embellishments. So let's focus on getting comfortable with the weight of the maracas and playing a simple eight note grip. The main thing we want to keep in mind is that we're looking for a short staccato sound when the beats hit the front of the maraca. Of course, there is a bit of sound produced when the beats hit the back of the maraca, but by accenting the note as we move forward, we can start to get a cleaner uniform sound. And to help the pattern swing a bit, we'll play some slight accents on beats 2 and 4. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can see that especially as I speed up, I move my arms in a particular way, which helps me stay relaxed and loose as I play. This is totally up to you, and will of course vary from player to player, but in my experience, it helps me give the 8 note pattern the right swing when I go to play it over a groove. So let's hear what this groove sounds like over one of our exclusive practice loops included with our KongaShops.com membership. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. As simple as it is, this pattern really helps act as the rhythmic glue of the percussion section, taking up some of the higher end frequencies and really helping things swing. So there you have it, a few simple tips and an essential groove to get you started playing maracas. If you're interested in learning more about how to play Latin percussion in depth and step by step, make sure to head over to congachops.com and grab your free 7-day trial for access to over 50 hours of exclusive lessons. <music>